Hello, and welcome to Lesson 5.2c, Writing Equations in Standard and Point Slope Form. Our objective today is that I can create and identify equations of parallel or perpendicular lines. Parallel lines are non-vertical lines that have the same slope and different y-intercepts. Vertical lines are parallel if they have different x-intercepts. So, quick key, key distinction, right? If they have different x-intercepts, they are parallel. When it comes to perpendicular lines, these are two non-vertical lines if the product of their slopes is negative one. A vertical line and a horizontal line are also perpendicular. Their slopes are opposite reciprocals. That is the key that you're looking for there, opposite reciprocals. So what would that look like? Uh, it would look like you know having a slope of negative, 3 over 5, and a slope of a positive 5 thirds. Those are opposites. They're opposite signs, and they're reciprocals. They're flipped fractions. All right, so example 7, we're going to start at the top, which is a parallel line given or going through a given point. So letter A, a line passes through the point negative 3, negative 1, and it is parallel to the graph of y equals 2x plus 3. Write an equation in slope-intercept form. All right, we're given the slope, and really, out of, the second, or out of that equation, the slope is all I care about. None of the rest of it matters. I need to know if it's parallel, it means it has the same slope, and it's going to have a different y-intercept. So we're going to use point-slope form to get us here. So we have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, right? That's our generic form. I'm just reminding of us of it. So we've got, substituting in, y minus negative 1 is equal to our slope 2 times x minus x1, which is negative 3. Now, if we want to convert this into slope-intercept form, we need to start by distributing. So we have y minus y1, well, minus a negative is y plus 1, and then 2 times x is 2x, and 2, we've got the double negative in there, so it's 2 times positive 3 is positive 6. Now, if I want this in slope-intercept form, my last step is going to be to subtract 1 from both sides. I get 1 is equal, or y is equal to 2x plus 5. All right. Letter B. We want to write the equation in slope-intercept form for a line that passes through 215, and it is going to have a slope, or sorry, and is parallel to the graph of y equals 4x minus 1. So my point is 215. My slope is 4, and so now I can write my equation. y minus 15 is equal to 4 times the quantity x minus 2. Distributive property first, y minus 15 is equal to 4x minus 8. And then if I'm trying to get y by itself, I add 15 to both sides, and I get that y is equal to 4x plus 7. All right, letter C. Again, we're asked to write it in slope-intercept form. So we've got negative uh, 4, 2 is our point that we're passing through, and it's parallel to the graph of y equals 3x minus 5. The 3 is the only bit of that equation that I care about. So we have y minus 2 is equal to 3 times x plus 4. Minus a negative 4 is plus 4. Start with distributive property. y minus 2 is equal to 3x plus 12. My final step is going to be to add 2 to both sides. y is equal to 3x plus 14. Letter D, again, we're writing in slope-intercept form. We have a line that's parallel. It's going through the point 
uh, negative 1, 1, and it's parallel to the graph of y equals negative 4x minus 9. So negative 4 is my slope. So y, not y equals, y minus 1 is equal to negative 4 times the quantity x plus 1, because it's minus a negative. Distributive property, y minus 1 is equal to negative 4x minus 4. And then we are adding 1 to both sides of my equation. y is equal to negative 4x minus 3. Now you have two U-try problems to do on your own. Please go ahead and do that, uh, and then check the work against mine. All right, letter E. We are told that we have a point, 1, negative 9, and we have a slope, or a line that's parallel to 2x plus 7. So 2 is my slope. So we do y plus 9 is equal to 2 times the quantity x minus 1. We distribute. We get y plus 9 is equal to 2x minus 2. We subtract 9 from both sides. y is equal to 2x minus 11. Letter F. We have a point, negative 12, 0, and it is parallel to the graph of the, this line, and this one is written in point-slope form. But again, all we care about is the slope of the line. So we're going to go ahead and use uh, the equation. So we've got y minus 0 is equal to the slope negative 3 fourths times x plus 12. And when we distribute y minus 0, well, y minus 0 is just going to be y, is going to be equal to negative 3 fourths x minus 9. And there we go. All right. Moving on to the next page, there are two more U-try problems. Do those on your own now, and then we'll check your work against mine. All right, letter G. Again, we're going to highlight our information. Uh, we have a point, 10, 23, and we have a slope of 7. So we write our equation. Y minus 23 is equal to 7 times the quantity x minus 10. Now there's a distinction on this one. It says write an equation in any form. So we can just leave it in point slope form. Letter h, again, we're being told we can write it in any form. It's always important to pay attention to the directions. Our point is going, or our line is going through the point, 8, 2, and we have a graph with a slope of 3 fourths that we're parallel to. So now we just need to use that information. So we have y minus 2 is equal to 3 fourths x minus 8. And since it said that we could write it in any form, I'm just choosing to leave it in point slope form. Now, the next set is example 8, and it's perpendicular lines going through a diff uh, uh, point. So we're told a line passes through 1, 8, and is perpendicular to the graph of y equals 2x plus 1. What equation represents the line in slope-intercept form? Okay. Well, again, we just need to go back and find our specific pieces of information. We have our point. We have a slope. But we want to be perpendicular, and we're also told specifically SI form, slope-intercept form. If I want to be perpendicular to the line that is y equals 2x plus 1, I need to take the opposite reciprocal of the slope. So the opposite of positive 2 is negative 2, and the reciprocal is negative 1 half. So we're going to use that in our equation. 
So we have y minus 8 is equal to negative 1 half times x minus 1. And since we want it in slope intercept form, we have to distribute y minus 8 is equal to negative 1 half x minus or plus 1 half. And then we are going to subtract 8 from both sides. We get y is equal to negative 1 half x or minus 7.5. Nope, we're adding 8, so we end up with 8.5. Let's fix that up. We're adding it, so we're adding to 8.5. And there we go. Letter B. We need to identify, first off, we're told it's in writing it in slope-intercept form. My point is 10, 15, and my slope that I'm working with is negative 5 over 6. So uh, that means my slope for my opposite reciprocal, the reciprocal is 6 over 5, the opposite of a negative is positive, so we have m is 6 over 5. So we do y minus 15 is equal to 6 fifths times x minus 10. Next step is to distribute. y minus 15 is equal to 6 fifths x. Uh, 6 times 10 is negative 60 divided by 5 is negative 12. My next step is to add 15 to both sides of my equation, and I get that y is equal to 6 over 5x plus 3. Uh, letter C, again we're told it needs to be in slope-intercept form. My point is 2, negative 9, and my slope is right here, and we're going perpendicular. So it's the opposite reciprocal, so negative one-half. And now we're going to use our slope or point-slope form. So y plus 9 is equal to negative one-half x minus 2. So first step, distribute. y plus 9 is equal to negative one-half x plus 1. And then we're going to subtract 9 from both sides. y equals negative 1 half x minus 8. All right. Letter D. We have an equation. We're told that we are passing through the point 9, negative 2, and it is perpendicular to the graph of y plus 5 equals 3 times the quantity x minus 3. So point slope form, there's a slope, and we want it to be a line in slope intercept form. So y plus 2 is equal to our slope. So I need the opposite reciprocal of 3, so that's negative 1 third, right? Because 3 is 3 over 1, so it's negative 1 third. So negative one-third, and then we're going to do x minus 9. And distributive property is next. y plus 2 is equal to negative one-third x, and this is going to be plus 3. And our final step is to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. y is equal to negative one-third x plus 1. All right, now you've got some U-try problems for you to do, uh, and then you're going to check your work against mine. Letter E are important pieces of information. We're going through the point 2, 3. We're perpendicular to the graph of y equals negative 3x minus 4, and we want it in slope-intercept form. So the opposite reciprocal our slope is going to be a positive one-third. 
And now we just need to substitute in y minus 3 is equal to 1 third times x minus 2. Distribute y minus 3 equals 1 third x minus 2 thirds. And it's not going to be clean, but we're going to add 3 to it. y is equal to 1 third x negative two-thirds plus three is going to be seven-thirds. Uh, and I just as a aside, that would be nine-thirds. So negative two-thirds plus nine-thirds is a positive seven-thirds. All right. Letter F, we have a line that is going to pass through the point negative four-six. And it is perpendicular to the graph of two-thirds y equals 2 thirds x plus 5. And again, we want it in slope intercept form. So my slope is the opposite. So opposite of positive is negative. Reciprocal, 3 halves. So we have y minus 6 is equal to negative 3 over 2 times x plus 4. The double negative applies there. Distributive property y minus 6 is equal to negative 3 halves x. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Divided by 2 is minus 6. Our last step here is to add 6 to both sides. And you get that y equals negative 3 halves x. All right, to the next page. There are two more you try problems. Please do them on your own and then check your work against mine. All right, so we have that it's perpendicular with a slope of two thirds. We have it going through the point negative six, negative 15, and we want it in SI form. So my slope is the opposite reciprocal, so negative 3 over 2. And we're going to substitute it in. So y plus 15 is equal to negative 3 halves times x plus 6. The double negative is applied. I'm just going to assume that you know that. Distributive property, y plus 15 is equal to negative 3 halves x now, 3 times 6 is 18, divided by 2 is 9, so it's minus 9. Next, subtract 15 from both sides, and we get y equals negative 3 halves x minus 24. Letter H. We have a line that is going to be passing through the point 12, 2, and it is perpendicular to the graph of y minus 1 equals negative 1 third times the quantity x minus 1, so that's point slope form. And again, we're representing it in slope intercept form specifically. So opposite reciprocal is going to be a positive 4 thirds. And now I'm going to substitute in y minus 2 is equal to 4 thirds x minus 12. Next step is distributive property. y minus 2 equals 4 thirds x 4 times negative 12 divided by 3 is going to be minus 16. And now my final step, add 2 to both sides, and I get that y is equal to 4 thirds x minus 14. All right. Now our final section here is that we are going to determine line relationships. We want to determine whether or not they are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So how do we do that? Well, if they're parallel, they're the same slope and different y-intercepts. If they're perpendicular, they are slopes that are the opposite reciprocal. 
So I think the way that is easiest to work about this is to get them all into slope intercept form and then compare from there. So the equation on the left is already in slope intercept form. The one on the right, we need to do some work. So we're going to start by subtracting 4x from both sides. And I get negative 3y equals negative 4x plus 9. Now my next step is to divide by negative 3. And I divide everything by negative 3. And we get that y is equal to negative 4 thirds over, or negative 4 over negative 3. Well, that's just 4 thirds, but it's positive now. And 9, minus, 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. So if I'm comparing my slopes, all right, the first step is to compare slopes. We have 3 fourths and 4 thirds. Those are reciprocals, but they are not opposite signs, so this is neither. So it's reciprocal, but not opposite, right? One's, they're both positive. That's how we know. All right, letter B. We have one equation in slope-intercept form. The one on the left is not. So 2y equals negative 3x plus 6. We're going to divide everything by 2. And we get y is equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 3. All right, so the first thing we need to look at is our slopes. So we have negative 3 halves, and we have positive 2 thirds. That is opposite signs, and that is a reciprocal. So this is perpendicular. Okay. Letter C, we have a point slope form 1, so we're going to start by distributing y minus 3 is equal to 2x minus 4, and I'm going to add 3 to both sides. y is equal to 2x minus 1. So we have, comparing slopes, we have a 2 and we have a 2. Same slope. So now we need to look at our y-intercepts. Same slope, different y-intercepts. This is parallel. So same slope, different y-intercept, right? The answer is parallel, but it's the same slope, different y-intercept, so that's parallel. Letter D, um, we've got x equals 7 and y equals 22. Well, if I think back to my definitions, uh, y equals 22, that's going to be a horizontal line at 22. x equals 7 is going to be a vertical line at 7. Horizontal and vertical meet. Those are right angles. That is perpendicular. All right, there are two U-try problems at the bottom of the page. I would like you to go over those two now and then check your work against mine. Letter E, we have a point slope form on the left here, so we need to distribute first y minus 7 equals 4x plus 12, and then we are going to add 7 to both sides. y is equal to 4x plus 19. And on the right side, we're going to add 4x to both sides in order to get the y by itself. And so y equals 4x plus 19. Huh, okay. So we check our slopes. We have a 4 and we have a 4. So we have the same slope. Uh, and then we check our y-intercepts, um, plus 19 and plus 19. So technically, this is neither. And the reason is, it's the same line. You can't be parallel to, the, to something when you are the same thing. Parallel means they are the same distance apart. You cannot be zero distance apart. All right, letter F, we have two equations here, uh, and it splits it to two different lines, annoyingly. So our first one 
we're going to divide everything by 2. So 2y over 2 plus 6x over 2 equals 14 over 2. And when we do that division, we get y uh, equals... Sorry, I skipped a step here. We're going to restart this question. I'm going to start by subtracting 6x from both sides. That's what I want to do first. 2y is equal to negative 6x plus 14. Then I'm going to divide everything by 2. I guess it really didn't matter. I could have divided it in that order, uh, but this is the way I want to work it. So we have negative 3x plus 7. Now, my second equation, um, I'm going to do the distributive property step. And so we've got y minus 7 is equal to negative 3x plus 3. And my next step is to add 7 to both sides. y is equal to negative 3x plus 10. Now we compare slopes, negative 3, negative 3. Those are the same. My y-intercepts, plus 7, plus 10. This is parallel. And it's parallel because it's the same slope, different y-intercept. All right, that's the end of our lesson for today. If you have any questions, please bring them to class tomorrow. Otherwise, have a great day.